I often found myself dreaming about an aquarium. Not different than this one. But overfilled with fish. Did you have a fish tank as a child? Not really. I grew up near water though. Lots of water. What do you think it means? What do you think it means, Anna? I don't know. I guess I relate to the life of these little guys. Always so contained. Tell me more about your dream. The water is always calm and clean. And although I can't remember the type of fish I have, I do remember them as lively. I went online to find out what this type of dream means long before I came here today. What did you find out? Well, the calm water represents your emotions. The lively fish means joy and stability. However, the tank itself means life feels like a prison. <laughs> and if everything is so peaceful and I'm happy right now, why I continue to feel that I need to escape? And I can't. Am I destined to never be fully satisfied? Escape from what exactly? The truth. And what do you think that is? jump to a bigger tank. But I'm still the same fish. Anyway, so that's why I came here today. I've got mad. <laughs> Do you know the actual definition of madness? Madness is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a completely different outcome. Try changing your bad habits by applying different actions the next time a familiar situation arises. Acknowledge the problem explore solutions, and respond with positive actions. Now, you may find yourself struggling at first, and you may not succeed, but don't give up. Just keep trying. Okay. Dr. Miller? Hi, uh, this is Anna. I... I tried changing my bad habits. <laughs> it didn't work. Of course, I... it didn't work. Sticks! What the hell are you doing here? Is that how you speak to your mother? I've come to provide assistance. Well, I don't need your help. Really? Pretty boy. What a pity. 
How did you find me? It took a while, but all I had to do was wait for you. To have a little sleep. Leave me alone. A nymph. Living amongst mortals. It's like an ex-drug addict living in a meth house. What would you know about meth addicts? Oh, please. The underworld is filled with those filthy, good-for-nothing humans. Those poor unfortunate souls like this fellow right there. He was innocent. He, he didn't deserve this. I haven't fed in a month. I, I had no choice. Oh, I... you had a choice. And you chose well. You chose your beauty. That's all right. It's our nature. It's what we're supposed to do with these humans. Our nature. Selfish little brat. Selfish. I've done everything you ever wanted me to do. I had the right. The to right to what? To live my own life. <laughs> Forget it. Just go. Fine. But you'll go hungry again. Dispose of the body. Wait. I need your help. Of course. Here. Call this number. Are you the cleaner? No, senorita. I'm the genie in the bottle here to grant you three magic wishes. Of course, I am the cleaner. Here. Mr. Paolo, is it? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for coming so quickly. Mm -hmm. Not a pro. Not a problem. There's nothing I love more than getting out of bed in the middle of the night to help a man-eating monster get rid of a body. <laughs> you know, one time, one time, I wish you names, you could commit your gruesome feeding rituals during regular business hours. Is that too much to ask? I don't think so. I think I'm a monster. Oh, poor thing. Yes, I think you're a monster. But I'm a monster too, so don't worry, I'm not judging you. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry, I hate having to do this. I, I've been trying really hard to be like them and it, it's not happening. <clears throat> Look, I get it. You, you want to be where the people are. You want to be part of their world. Is that it? Trust me, Mr. Fauna understands you. Yes, I mean, not too long ago, I used to have horns. Yeah. Brrr. <laughs> Look. There is a reason they call this world the land of opportunity. It's the human dream. You can be whoever you want to, but that doesn't mean you have to forget where you come from them. Just assimilate. Assimilate? Mm hmm Yes, I can do that. Good. Also, hmm, let's not kill any more people for the time being.
And so you drink one of these every 24 hours to control the metamorphosis. Okay. Thank you. Ah, don't thank me yet. What do you mean? Well, I'm a cleaner, I'm not a chemist. Let's just hope these portions can scale back your little problem, so to speak. PD, open up. LAPD. Hello. Anna Springs? Yeah, how can I help you? I'm Detective Raleigh. This is Detective Marino. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Is there anything wrong? Or can we just come in, have a little chat? Sure, yeah, yeah. Are you alone? Yes. restaurant downtown called uh, Il Olimpo. Yes, I do, yeah. Yeah. We talked to your uh, manager down there. He hasn't seen you for a couple days. I haven't feel feeling very well. Um, I think I have gotten some food poisoning or something. What's this about? <laughs> El Olimpo, huh? You guys got really good organic gelato. Yeah, I have heard good things about it, yes. Well, heard good things. I mean, if I worked there, you a gallon a day. <laughs> <laughs> I follow a special diet. Well, no wonder you're in such good shape. Do you know a man named Jason Williams? Yes, yes. And what's your relationship with him? We... Is he your boyfriend? No, no, no. It's uh, we're friends. We we've gone out a couple of times. That's all. So you don't have a boyfriend? No. So were you with Mr. Williams at the Ruby Hotel this Saturday night around 10 p.m.? Um, yeah. We went we went out for a drink. Can I uh, check out your bedroom? Is it necessary? Okay. How long have you been in the United States? Uh, close to six months. Been working on my English. Still learning. Well, your English is excellent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was my dad's. Dolphins were his favorite animal. Uh, it's funny because he was a cop, you know, so he should have been a marine biologist, you know. I see.
Detective Marino. Oh, call me Michael. <laughs> Michael. Am I in any trouble? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you see, there's a missing persons report filed for Mr. Williams. Oh, <laughs> that's terrible. Yeah, so, when's the last time you seen him? At the bar. We had a drink and he dropped me off. And did he come in here? Oh, no, no. Why not? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know. Oh! Oh! What is all of this? Just cleansing. Yeah, she eats healthy. Yeah. You know, my wife, she's been trying to get me to try one of these crazy juice diets. You don't mind if I, uh... No! Uh... <laughs> Trust me, you, you wouldn't like the taste. Okay. <laughs> so, Miss Springs? Yeah? Was there ever any violence between you and Mr. Williams? No. Well, did he ever act in a way that made you feel unsafe? No. Are you sure? I'm sure, detectives. You know, I, I should get back to bed. I think I'm feeling a little sick. Okay. Yeah, get some rest, all right? Um, here's my card. Just let us know if you hear anything from Mr. Williams, okay? Okay. All right, get some sleep. Thank you very much, Miss Springs. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you feel better, Anna. Yes, thank you, Michael. <laughs> Probably not the best time, but um, I think we. Well, I was wondering, would you um, do you want to go out with me? <laughs> you want to go out with me on a date? <laughs> well, yes. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, as soon as you feel better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, okay. Well, I left my my number. Oh, I have your I, yeah. 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 Oh, you're fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, it's nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. All right. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs>